Hello, and welcome back to Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King. Even though I just ended last weekend streaming this game, I wanted to get back right, right back into it, because we didn't really do much last time beyond just reading a ton of dialogue and books and stuff and holy crap. So I just want to see like what the game is actually all about. So we'll see how long I'll stream this. I might even just stream this tonight. It depends on how engaging it is and if I want to like go for the full duration. We'll see. But yeah, let's jump in. I also adjusted the uh, volume a little bit because I was so concerned with it being too, uh, too quiet that I ended up making it too loud. It might still be a little too loud, but I'll see uh, later on. You can't copy saves, can you? I've made backups like physical or file backups, but no in-game copy and paste thing. Yeah, I guess at the start of each each one of these, I should probably just read out this, even if it hasn't changed much, but I imagine it will every time. Wait, so the king is cursed and only a special potion can cure him. Yeah, weren't you listening? The Disciples of the Rose need three ingredients to make it. The first of the ingredients, Fairy Clover, is found in the Golem's Haven. Lily must travel south of the kingdom to find it. And there you go. A little uh, update on what you were working on, what you were doing. Yeah, it, it certainly looks like a very small map. I'm a little concerned about that. If that's where we're going and it's like, this is the full world map, it certainly doesn't have anything on, uh, on uh, what's it called? Link to the Past, but we'll see. Yeah, the gold hunt begins again. This is nothing new. We need to get more money for uh, the gambling thing. You can't, like, kill the birds. Can I blow up villagers? Probably not. No. Okay, you can't you can't go on a murdering spree, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess we're we're done here. Let's just check back in uh, our house. Maybe Grandma wants to say something. What's up? You must venture southwest from the castle to reach Golem's Haven. Careful, dear. And that's it. She certainly heard quickly what we were doing. Oh, and deep water. Ah, you cannot go into dark water, deep water. Only the shallow stuff. All right. And of course you can cut the grass. Oh my god, you can kill the butterflies too? Well, that's horrible. <laughs> you can't destroy the flowers because it's Blossom Tales, I guess. And you can cut these. Oh, there can be gold in them. All right. Text changes after collect, uh, completing the objective. Should change after you get the Fairy Clover. You mean Grandma's text? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, Grandma is almost like a, an in-game version of the catching up, catching you up on the story. You can just go to Grandma and ask what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, and you can destroy the flowers. Good. Got to destroy everything. And we couldn't do anything here. We need something else. Wait, can I blow this up? Oh, sorry. Give me that. You can blow it up. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm learning how to use the bombs. So, if you just tap it, you instantly throw them. Oh, the story text. Yeah, okay. I see. That, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, if you tap it, you just instantly throw the bomb. But if you hold it down, you, like, grab it and hold it. And then I guess it'll explode and do damage to me? No? I guess the fuse doesn't start until you drop it. And you can, I can hold down the button and then just press A. No, I cannot. I cannot just put it down. But if I let go now, it will put it down. Yeah. And then if I pick it up, now the fuse will... will go, right? No? So every time you pick it up, the fuse stops. Does it pause or does it reset? Oh, okay. One more time. Okay, it just pauses. Alright, good to know. So let's check in what this new house is. Oh, thank you. Needed that. Just someone's, like, abandoned house that I'll just steal their possessions from. And destroy everything, as you do. Can I read this? No? 
Can't read? Can't do anything? Can I blow anything up? Nope. All right. I don't know whose house this is. And the rocks, like, remain blown up. I don't know if I saw any other rocks that I could blow up. Guess we'll keep an eye out for that, but finally, finally, let's leave town. Here we go. Raise the gates. Get information, guy. What are you what are you doing? Shouldn't you be at the training grounds? Okay. And of course, we're immediately gonna go not the direction we're supposed to go. Yeah, I remember seeing a, a chest over here. There were rocks in the water? Like in the pond inside, or just where I was right now? Here we go. It's a heart piece. Can I see? Yeah, I have one. Expansion, so I need one more of those green things to get more magic. Ingredients, that's like the main objectives, I guess. Yeah. I guess you mean the water over here? Oh yeah, I guess those are little rocks. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh well, worth a shot. I guess I should have tried like throwing it into the water just to see can it blow up in shallow water or deep water, but we'll see that later on, I suppose. Can't go here. No secrets. May your dreams be pleasant, my sweet king. Oh my god, music change. It happened. We're playing the game. Finally. Yep, okay, you can nuke butterflies as well. Good. Oh, monsters. Can I throw bombs down? Down cliffs. No, you cannot. Okay, good to know. That's kind of weird. Aren't you awfully close to the monsters? This doesn't seem safe. Yeah, that seems strong. And you can use them pretty often, too, so... That's, like, the best attack we have right now. Oh. Archaeologist. Hello, did you know there are ancient wonders all over this kingdom? It's true. Maybe our paths will cross again while I'm out there. Okay, sounds cool. I'll just probably blow them all up. Oh, well, I meant to read the sign, because interact and attack is the same button. Traveler, we were on our way to Blossom Castle when the wizard Crocus cursed the king. I think it's best if we just camp out here for, for a bit and see how things work out. Hey, baby. Boy, we're waiting for our father. He's a lumberjack in the southern forest. Girl, my mom is scared to go to the castle. She said that we had best steer clear because of an evil wizard. Can you blow up grass as well? Yeah, you can. It's pretty slow, though. But I guess you can, like, throw it against a wall. Yeah, that's probably quicker than uh, slashing at it. And then we get a new checkpoint, waypoint. Yeah, I'm just gonna bomb everything. <laughs> Why do anything else? So, I need to go south. Well, I need to go kind of east and south, so of course I'm gonna go uh, west and south, so I'm gonna go east.
This looks safe. Yeah, just like a, a random bandit's camp or den just right outside the capital. Seems fine. It's getting pretty dark. What's up? Okay, they are hostile. Grandpa. The bandits have taken over the, the only bridge, the Gasping Marshes. I bet they keep all their stolen stuff there. What's in the Gasping Marshes, Grandpa? Now, now, kids, you don't want to jump ahead of the story, do you? We'll be back here soon. Ah, oh, so you can't. Well, I can, I can kill like one or two dudes, probably. But it doesn't do much. So I guess this might be a bit of a linear experience, we'll see. I guess I want to kill all these, because I had to, like, defeat whatever it was, 20 enemies. Oh, there we go. And we can get mushrooms. I had to defeat a certain number of enemies for a, a reward. Oh my god, you can get gold from the butterflies as well. So there's a point to being a murderer. What's this about? Yeah, pretty nice combat system with the bombs so far. Switches? Whoops. Can I hold down switches with a bomb? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, so that might work. Like, can you throw it all the way here? Yeah, you can. All right, I see. Maybe I need more magic before I can do this, but I think I can do three bombs. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of neat. Little secret challenge. I got piss! Lily found sunshine in a bottle. Drinking this special potion makes Lily invulnerable for, for a while. Great! And if I just click this... Nothing. I have to press like X or B. All right. Forgot I have a shield as well. Anything up here? Nope. I assume if there are secrets, they'll be like noticeable, like in the walls. If you blow stuff up, there's probably going to be cracks and stuff. Not just random walls. Oh, what was that? Hello. Okay, I guess you're hostile. Have a bomb. There you go. Okay, this doesn't hurt me. Closed! Come back later! Can't cut it down. Well, I can steal all the money. Yeah, getting the mushrooms. I don't even know why it says I need 20. Was that like a, a quest or something? Did someone... Was it the, the cook? The chef? Saying like, I need 20 mushrooms? Yeah, I think so. So I guess, yeah, let's go down and then right maybe. I could do that before as well. Alright, gotta be a little careful with the bombs. I guess bandits probably have like a, yeah, they have a higher chance of dropping gold compared to other enemies. And it seems like every time you're hurt, oh, and they steal gold from you as well, interesting. Only sometimes though. Or wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, they do steal the gold. But I, I kinda wanna test this more. Like, if they steal it and pick it up, do they drop more? 
So I have 46 if I take damage. Come on, steal. Steal! Don't kill me! No, okay, they, they don't pick up the gold at all. Should probably use my, uh, my shield as well. I could use a potion, but yeah, I'm sure I'll get some uh, hearts just from the, the grass. I was gonna say, it seems like the game knows, like, if you're on full health, it doesn't give you hearts from grass and stuff. Another scroll? The disciples have warned us about magic medallions that can be used against us. They were created to give people without magic abilities... Magic abilities the power to cast spells. In the hands of a good knight, the ability to shoot fireballs and summon lightning would prove very useful out here, in the wild. I am a good knight. I don't murder everyone. Another rock up there as well. Hmm, can you get up there? There, though. Seems like it. Yeah, I'm sure you can. That's probably a secret. If we go to the left and then up and around. Alright, well, for now, let's go right. Yeah, here we go. Race lady? Get to the chest before the timer runs out, and its contents are yours. Would you like to try my course? It will cost 10 gold coins. Ah, uh, not right now. I should probably, uh... I mean, I guess it has saved, probably. Let's just, like, make sure. Yeah, it saves on every screen. So now it should have saved. I guess we'll try it. Hmm. Yeah, let's see how it how it goes. I don't know if that's like a shortcut. Seems like swinging your sword almost like makes you go faster in the water at least. So I should just ignore the enemies if I can. And yeah, I guess you have to cut the grass as well. Ah, wow. Really? Oh no, I, I thought I failed. I thought that was like, you ran out of time. But no, you just had to get to the, the platform. Alright, that wasn't too bad. So, can I, like, block these? Well, it missed. You can, but it drains your stamina, I see. So it doesn't, like, deflect them or anything. And then, what if we blow one up? That is not gonna work. I mean, it kinda worked. They're just invulnerable, it seems. You can't jump down here? All right, we're getting some mushrooms here as well. If only mowing the lawn was this profitable. Do you have more? Congrats! Nope. What if we leave and come back? Congrats. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Maybe later on, like once you're done with a main objective, she can have like a new challenge, but probably not, I would imagine. And there was nothing down here. Nope. Just a bunch of mushrooms. I really actually kind of want to get in there again. And get those 20 mushrooms, but I guess we probably will eventually anyway. So yeah, now we're back here. 
And there wasn't really anything else. I couldn't go right. Yeah. So now we, we can only go left or up. So I guess we'll try and go up. So how do I do this again? I like do this. Okay, that just one shots him, so that's pretty good. And then the jump attack. I should try that as well. Wow, wait, what? Was that a coincidence? Okay, that was a coincidence that he just happened to drop like a shitload of gold. Wait, no? Oh wait, is it? Am I dropping the gold? Yeah, I'm dropping the gold. I, I'm invulnerable while I'm doing the jump slash, but they can still like steal gold, making me drop it. I see. Yeah. Well, that's good to know that you seemingly are invulnerable when you have... Uh, when you're doing the jump attack. Yeah, so let's go up, I guess, and then... Uh, up and then to the left, if I can. Yeah, it definitely seems like a very small world, if this is it. But maybe this is only, like, the first part? I don't know. Killing enemies like that is uncool? Using bombs? Well, it's safe. Guess I have to use this attack. Oh, we got the Octorok. Of course we do. We gotta have the Octorok enemy that you deflect with a shield. Yep. I wonder where they got this idea from. Oh, the sword techniques. Oh, right, yeah, they said, like, those techniques are for uncool people. I guess you can't really do that. Maybe now? Yeah, I guess I guess that's him dying. Whoa, that's a lot of birds. Yeah, the fact that you're invulnerable during during that seems like it's gonna be a good one to keep using. And it does like a lot of damage comparatively, it seems. Hmm, this rock does not look conspicuous at all. I'm sure there's nothing behind it. Whoops. That should be fine. Oh my god! Oh, Deku Scrubs or something? I thought it was going to be like a Deku Scrub wanting to trade. Well, it seems like maybe I need something else. Maybe I need like the fireball or something or a bow. Like if I have a bow, I could shoot through here or something to light the other torches. So yeah, it seems like this is a, a thing for later on. Or if you get like a Deku stick or something. Damn it. Okay, it's a bit hard to make use of both the swing and the jump. Alright, don't want to go down. But could we even go across here anywhere? I guess not. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I suppose that's it. Wait, no, we can go up here. This is new. Hello, random evil wizard. Alright, not sure what is preventing this one. I guess that's a one-way gate. You hit that, or uh, maybe use a bow or something to unlock that. It's 
So what do you do? Oh, you're an archer. I thought you were like a wizard or a crossbowman. Well, so basically just stay at the diagonal and they can't do anything. So, good. And these mushrooms don't do anything. They're not harmful. Oh, you can drag it, but I'm too weak. Oh, you see, I can't drag it down or push it up, but if I came from above there, I could drag it to the side. So once again, another one-way gate. I mean, I, I can go here. Is this that secret I saw? Yeah, this is probably that, that rock. N no, it's not. Okay, never mind. I don't know how you get up. Up here. Uh, no, not here. I don't know where it was. Somewhere there was like a conspicuous looking rock. Maybe I should go back and check that again. I think it was like down below here. Wow, th these birds just do not give up. Oh, here maybe? Nope, that's not it. I want to say it was, uh... You can zoom. Oh, that that is zoomed. I can't really make out the rock. I think it was here. Yeah, this one. I'm just gonna see if I can like run past. Actually, again, killing enemies is something we have to do for some things. I guess I shouldn't shouldn't just run past. Should always try and kill them. Yeah, it's pretty easy once they're lined up. What was here? It looked like something was jumping around here. Yeah, so we need to get up here somewhere. Oh, well, again, totally not conspicuous at all. Never would have guessed. Like, cave music even sounds similar to the cave music from uh, Oracle of Seasons or Ages. Yeah, so now I'm here. Here we go. Yeah, that's where you go. Sure, let's check this out. What is up with these? Nothing? Hmm. I don't know if we'll get, like, a shovel or something. We can go up as well. Okay, where the hell were you even hiding? Yep, thought so. I see, switches. So we need to like set up bombs, I guess? One at the blue and one at the red. So... This kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, these are neat. I wonder if there's ever going to be other things you get than just like heart pieces and potions and stuff. Because, I mean, those are not like super interesting. Hiding in a cloud? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. It looked like it came out of the ground. Like the grass. Yeah, it's, it's like, I guess from the trees, kind of. Looks a little weird. Oh, and you could have just gone down here. I see. Well, I should just go back anyway.
No, I guess that's that's it here. Achievement! Lawnmower Woman. Cut 1,000 patches of grass. Great! Ho, oh, ferryman. At the end of the dock waited an old druid on his boat. He was Lily's only hope of reaching Golem's Haven. Ferryman! He is called Ferryman! Okay. So you wish us to go to Golem's Haven, eh? No. Okay. Uh, okay! I thought, with the way they phrased that, like, he was her only hope. I thought it was gonna be, like, a quest or something. Like, we have to convince this guy to take me across. He's just like, do you want to go? Sure. Wow, there's some loud music. Honestly, this might be too loud. I think I might even pull it down a little more. It's gonna take a little bit of time to, like, get the audio mix mixing and balance all set up. Yeah, I guess some of the sounds are a bit inconsistent in this game, like the mixing is not very even. Cutscene. Lily entered Golem's Haven for the first time, but something was wrong. The druids were under attack! Wouldn't that guy have known then, the ferryman? Gasp. But what? By what, Grandpa? The evil archers brainwashed by Crocus. No, they sent their rock monsters to do their dirty work. Yikes, both sound quite terrible, but... Archers or golems? I mean, we've seen the archers, so I guess I'll go with golems, because like... I haven't seen those, and I can probably just throw bombs at them and it'll be fine. Golems brought to life by dark magic had arrived to destroy the druids. Hello, golem. Wait, what? Why did this change? How- when did this happen? Why is this one now on X and the other one on B? That was weird. I don't know when I accidentally did that. Yep, just one bomb and they're gone. I'll be attacking the druids just as much as the, uh, the golems. I switched when I turned down the sound. Oh, I see. Whoops. So, you have to use bombs on these, yeah? Let's just see if you can, like, maybe smash attack? Yeah, okay. A smash works as well. That makes sense. Didn't even see this guy. Guess now we need a heart. Yeah, that like invincibility is pretty insane. Thank you for saving us, Sir Knight. Please come inside. Druid Elder. Hmm, you're a lot younger than the other knights who passed through here. They already left to the temple, one of the last places where fairy clover still grows. But I fear their impatience will prevent them from activating the magic stones protecting the entrance. One must watch carefully and listen to the tones, not hack away like a fool. If you are also headed there, be wary of the druids that have defected from our group. They now serve the dreaded dark wizard. Are those the crossbow dudes? Fairy clover? That's only found in the runestone temple. Yeah, it's a shame, like, indoors, the music is so much quieter. Like, I get, you know, like, being indoors, it, it gets toned down a bit, but man, it's very quiet, and then out, outside is, like, super loud. Those who lack patience will never get inside the temple. Crocus has converted many druids to his side and made our homeland a dangerous place. What's gotten into the other druids? They used to be very peaceful. I hope the Tree Lord is safe. The, the Deku tree? I hit one of the runestones outside the temple with a stick and it made a sound. Yes, I was that bored. We re recently heard a loud boom coming from the temple. Spells and explosives are much more effective against stone enemies than a sword. 
Ever seen a griffin? That's because they fly high above the clouds. Their feathers fall and get stuck on creatures. Okay. Well, it seems like all of these will say the same thing. Yeah. What about this guy? Flower Bard. These druids smell like all old moss. Would you like to hear a song? Sing me a song. Precious, precious fairy clover, powerful and fair. Once budding and blooming here and there. Pure and fragrant, all the kingdom does declare. The druids now protect you with tender care. For only in the temple it grows so rare. Intruders and thieves, you better beware. Excellent. Can't read? Wait, what was that? Why aren't... You're quite brave if you're if you're thinking of looking for fairy clover inside the temple. What did you say? Why aren't? The prophecy is coming true. We're doomed. Doomed, I say. The ancient magic still flowing through our temple's walls makes it a very dangerous place for intruders. You know, there's so much dialogue and it's just random if you get get it or not. Which is really strange. Come on. Give me that, haven't you? I'm sure even Crocus fears the stone guardian that watches over the fairy clovers. Crocus has provoked the long dormant magic in Golem's Haven. These lands are no longer safe. Did you save us from the attack? Thank you! Come on! Give me the thing! I know you have it! Oh man! I guess I should give up. Okay, three more. Oh, well this is new. Our ancestors were able to control more than rocks with their magic. So three more from now. Why aren't you wearing armor like the knights who passed through here earlier? Was that the one? Did I read it as haven't you when it was why aren't you? That might have been the one. Yeah, and these all say the same things. Well, this guy obviously wants my feathers. The old clover shop. I'll just smash your stuff. I can't just talk. That's 50 grams of silver. Very rare, very expensive. 200 gold. Well, I did need that for something. So I kind of want it. That's an old scroll someone sold me. 100 gold. Well, those are pretty rare if you can sell them for less than 100, but like, still, if you could sell it for like 50 or something, I would do that. That's a special item, a small energy crystal, 250. So I guess let's try and save up 200 then. So what else did I need for like the sword upgrade? It was like... Oh boy, yeah, I can't remember at all. We needed like different things for an upgrade. And one of them was silver, I think? Maybe it was the, the cog? So I don't know why that would make sense. Nice. Some casual theft. See, so yeah, I guess that increased my magic. It hardly is even noticeable. Just a very, very slight increase. Oh wait, it didn't go in here. Oh? A resurrection flower! They are said to restore the wearer's spirit when they are about to die. Alright. So I guess that's like a fairy sort of thing. Though fairies you can use whenever you want to fully heal, but this one is just automatic. Or like, only automatic.
For me, Jennifer? I hope it's not another letter from that weird guy I met at the Bouncing Flower once. Where do you say he works? The post office? He's always sending me panda lilies, the most romantic flower of all. Ugh, I hope this is, this one is from a cute knight. Thanks. I see. We just randomly found the recipient. I'm Jennifer, or Jen for short, or J-Dog, J-Drizzle, J to the Pizzo, Little J, Jiggy J, JJ, whatevs. Yeah. Humorous. Writing. <laughs> I feel old. Nope. Yeah, nothing here. Just break more shit, steal more stuff. I'll be having this potion. Oh, and you can read. The Lazy Druid. Behold, the tale of a lazy druid and his embarrassing demise. While his friends practice their magic, to impress cute girls of course, he spent his days eating berries and drinking tea. That sounds nice. Envious that everyone but him had found a soulmate. The druid finally picked up an old tome and learned how to create a golem that would crush them all. Instead, he fell in love with the golem and commanded it to loaf around with him in the grass for eternity. The druid was happy for a while, until the golem squished him, of course. Accidentally rolled over and crushed him to death. The moral of the story, don't date magic rock creatures. Well, or just be content with berries and tea, because that sounds kind of nice. What's gotten into the other druids? They used to be very peaceful. Yeah, we read that. The druids of Golem's Haven are quite friendly. Well, except for the elder druid. He doesn't really like outsiders. The others invited me to come back later and study their magic. I said yes, but only if they can teach me how to make my own living rock pet. I'd never have to feed it or pick up pick up poop. Woohoo! Everyone wants to date a rock monster. Someone would. All of these dudes have chests. Alright, what's this about? A Blossom Spirit. These powerful beings are sworn to aid you when released. Was it a scary spirit, Grandpa? Like, did it have a big... have big red eyes and bre breathe... breath fire? You mean breathe fire? Uh, sorta. It had big wings and, uh, ante antennas. Isn't it, like, antennae or something coming from its head? No chests in here. Relic Hunter. I spend my days searching for lost artifacts. It's a very exhausting profession. I could really use a scrumptious jar of mushroom soup to give me energy. Sniff sniff. Say, I'll trade you a worthless artifact I found the other day for your jar of mushroom soup. Deal. I, I don't have a jar of mushroom soup. I mean, I would. Remember our deal. You bring me a jar of mushroom soup and I'll give you this lame artifact I found. So yeah, I guess that's after we get the mushrooms, so the, the chef will probably get soup. Gotta have a trading quest in every Zelda-like. So I guess that's it. Now we just go up to the, uh, the feather place. I think I've checked all the other houses. What's up? Fletcher, are you here to help me? I make the finest arrows on the in the entire kingdom, made from griffin feathers that fell from the sky, fall from the sky. Unfortunately, and yeah, this is again like very loud music comparatively. A dark magic has made these lands dangerous, but you look a, uh, like a brave young gal. Collect feathers for me, and I'll share my profits with you. I need at least twenty for each shipment to the castle. But only profits. It's just money.
Yeah, I do kind of wish the the music was a bit leveled or more leveled. Oh, damn it. I want to read. Yeah, it is a problem to have interact and attack on the same same button. There we go. Warning, cursed woods beyond these trees. Travelers beware. And I am there. Could I go up from any of the other screens here? I don't think so. Yeah, the other one was like blocked by a, a rock, right? But I, I haven't been here. Wait, what was what was in here? I've been here, right? This was the, the store. Yeah. How much gold? 167. Oh, we can go up here. So this is new. So, I don't know if this is, like, gone forever, if I do this. Probably not. I gotta sneeze. Maybe. No. Probably not. God damn it. Yeah, I guess I should keep chopping down at- oh! What the hell? Hello, gnome. Alright, that's- that's kind of a weird one. Okay, I see. Reverse controls. Wait, no. I just want to see if I can, like- I can block them, alright. Oh god. How long does this last? There we go. All right, well, they're quick to... easy to kill, quick to die. Yeah, another one of these again. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wait, so even if you block it, you still get your controls shifted. Yeah, okay, so blocking them is, like, pointless. It just, like, makes you not take damage, but... Whoa! You don't really want to bother with it. Hello. Oh, he's nice again. What just happened with my elf? I guess let's keep going here, even though I could go left as well. I was gonna say, we need to chop down more grass. Gotta get that 200. Wow! Man, there's some enemy variety here. Oh, okay, you can block those. That's pretty convenient. Feather, nice. Wow, he can, like, telefrag you. It almost looks like this is pointing up into the waterfall. So, of course, there's something. Yep. Great, Simon Says. This is so loud, too! Oh, the tree, like, healed me? Oh god, I was not looking. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking at all. And now we have to redo it. Shouldn't have read chat. Or 
we done? Nope. Jesus! Oh god. Did we go down here right now, or was it one more here and then two? I, I can't remember. Uh... Oh boy. I want to say it was one more of these, but I'm not too sure. No. It's just this. God damn it, it was one more of those. Man, this is this is a bit much, honestly. Like, come on, you don't need to do like eight sequences of Simon Says. That's uh, a bit extreme. It's like the sound is just getting into my brain. It's so loud and shrill. Also, normally, when you do Simon Says, you would have, like, the incremental steps just adding to the previous sequence that you already have. Not, like, first a triple sequence, then a four, and then five, then six, and just completely random. It's a bit weird. Thank fucking God. Jesus Christ. That was a bit much. I, I th think that should have been like two steps fewer or something. Or again, yeah, just a sequence that adds one note after each one instead of randomizing every time. You don't remember too much from this game? You, you can't recall how you, got, how you got past this? You might have cheated? I mean, I don't know how you could cheat this if it's random every, every time. No idea. But... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, like, unmanageable, just kind of a little bit much, I feel. Golem's Haven is home to Fairy Clover, a special plant brought here from a distant land by one of the first druids. It is said that when combined with other rare items, it can remove evil spells and curses. I wonder if it can also do something to tame my mentor's awful mood swings. If they knew this, like, everyone knew this already, why didn't we have, like, a stock of this mass-produced? Just like the cure-all that can break all spells and curses. Just like have it in stock in a safe in the castle for emergencies. Well, that was not really worth it. Record the process, but don't remember if, if that was added before or after on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess you could do that. All right, these things seem to drop uh, drop feathers pretty commonly. Man, these holes, they, they remind me of like Stardew Valley worm artifact things where you can dig up stuff. So I want to get a shovel. Yeah, here's this part. I guess I didn't confirm if this uh, stayed in place, but I very much doubt it would. Nice, a feather again. Fairy cavern? Great fairy fountain? 
It's a great fairy fountain. Jesus Christ. Lily could not believe her. Okay, like, it's it's getting a bit much with the, uh, like, clone nature. Besides just the obvious, like, world and, you know, mechanics and stuff. But, I mean, the combat is, is different, at least. Lily could not believe her eyes. Up ahead were two Earth fairies. Okay. What's up? Do you need help finding another one? Let's talk to the smaller one first. Oh, I can't... It's Grandpa and Lily Fairies, is it? Is that Grandpa? Welcome to our sanctuary. We sense a noble and virtuous spirit within you. Please allow us to bless you with a gift. That's not impressive. Come on. I already gave you a heart piece. What more do you want? Those things are rare, you know. No, they're not. They're everywhere. I want something cooler. Man, how boring. I'll wreck your place because of that. I thought you would, like, give me magic or something like that, because this is, like, completely different and special compared to just, like, a cave with a chest. Oh, that's the brother? It's, like, Grandpa and the brother, and then, uh, yeah, I'm Lily. That makes sense. Pretty shitty by Grandpa, just making Lily the, like, main character. And the kid, the, the boy, is just like, nobody. Clear, like, favoritism. Oh, wait, hold on, I, I forgot to check. Yeah, okay, these actually remembered. That's good. So now we have a, a shortcut here. That's good to know. So I guess my other one as well did that. I don't know why I bother. Um, tree? In the bottom right? You okay? Okay, S slight issues. Layers are hard. I guess that was probably happening before as well, I didn't notice. Can we just like, sword this thing? No. But we could just, like, iframe through it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that, that jump attack is very, very useful and strong. Fairies and stuff, Blessing a Hero was around before Zelda. It was popularized by Zelda. I mean, yeah, sure, but, like, let's not kid ourselves. This game did not add the fairy fountain because of old tropes before Zelda. It was... <laughs> Very clearly, because it's Zelda. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, no, I did kill it? I don't even know. Alright, we have enough to buy the thing. Oh, hello. No! Okay, good. Oh, this looks suspicious. I guess not. Nothing? Hmm. Yeah, this seemed like it would be something. It's not. And here's another place where the person isn't here. It'll be back later. Oh, hi spiders. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But I guess that works. Yeah, getting a lot of feathers here. I guess like in this western area you get feathers, and in the southern area, you get mushrooms, generally. Alright, so what's going on up here? Just destroying all the stuff again?
closed, come back later. Again. I guess maybe the world map is small because, like, it'll change over time. Like, we'll do this and that'll be, like, stage one of using the world map and then maybe things will change when you go elsewhere. I don't know. What is this? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Aren't you evil? Yeah, you are. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so once you kill these guys, they just heal you. That's nice. Tons of feathers. I'm getting the feathers faster than the uh, mushrooms. I'm almost thinking I should go back and like complete the mushroom thing. So we don't like fall behind on that. So wait, can I pick this up and put it down? Yes, you can. Okay, so that's the thing here. You don't want to destroy everything. And it's more than two. But where's the last one? Or multiple? There we go. It's gonna be a heart piece. Incredible. Almost done with these. What is this? Oh, just the uh, cliff wall. Yeah, at least the spin and jump attack are a nice spin on it, on the uh, Zelda combat. Because yeah, the old school Zelda games, Link to the Past and Oracle of Seasons and all those, were very, very basic when it came to combat. The most you ever got was like a sword beam. And you had a spin attack. That generally wasn't really that useful in combat most of the time. Sometimes it was. But yeah, so now we're back here. I guess I'll just go back left and continue left. Okay, there we go. Well, I, I guess I'll go back then. Yeah, maybe maybe let's do that. Let's go back, trade in these, and then go back and get the mushrooms as well. And trade those in. And I can also buy the silver. Check in with the uh, starting town to see like how much I needed. Perfect. So I guess that was just gold. Like trading in the feathers, I think. I guess maybe it's just like infinite. You can get infinite feathers, so you can trade in trade them in infinitely for money. 200 gold, sure. Then I'll probably get the scroll next, I guess. That's more interesting than the uh, energy thing. How'd you collect them so quickly? You must be one heck of a knight. Here's a special reward for the first 20 feathers. I'll pay you if you bring more. Okay. But you're not gonna pay me now? You told me you would pay me for each one, like I would get a cut of the profits. But now you're like, oh, thanks for giving me these. I'll give you something useless instead. Like, for him, it's useless. But yeah, at least that was in, in theory, or like, essentially 250. Which I guess is good. So yeah, let's go back here. 
Yeah, I guess we'll see how much you get for uh, trading in 20. I would imagine like maybe a hundred or something. Seems like a fair amount that wouldn't be like crazy for how long it takes to, to get 20. Maybe it's even less than that. 50 gold. All right, need some mushrooms. If we get back to the racetrack, there were a lot over there. Yeah, also just the fact that you can move during the spin attack makes it more useful than the spin attack in uh, Zelda games as well. Like, you can generally move and charge in the uh, old Zelda games, but as soon as you start spinning, you're just, like, locked in. But here you can continue moving, which makes it a bit more useful. And again, you can, like, cancel it at any time with this thing, making yourself invulnerable, or even, like, escaping if you want to, like, dodge something. Dodge away. Congrats. Yep. Nothing here. Oh, I guess that would have been a shortcut because you don't need to go in the go in the water. It's a little faster. But it didn't really matter. There we go, perfect. 21 out of 20. Maybe it'll be the same here. Like the first time you get the mushroom soup, but then every time you give 20 more mushrooms, you just get money. Or maybe you just get more mushroom soup. Maybe it's like a healing item and a tradable. I wish the sword collected money as well. That's the one thing. Or if you got, like, some magnet or whatever. We'll see. Guess I'll use this and teleport to Blossom Castle. I feel like the sneeze is coming back. Maybe. I think because I just said that, it retreated again. God damn it. You brought me 20 mushrooms, great! We can finally start selling mushroom soup in the town shop again. Here's your reward, I'll buy any more you bring. Yeah, there we go. Ah, a mighty bottle of mushroom soup. Lily can fully replenish her energy by gobbling this down. Hey Grandpa, why did the mushroom go to the party? I don't know. Because he was a fun guy! Ah. Yep, yeah, I'm with you Grandpa. Need at least 20 mushrooms. Yeah, you just get money. Enemy count check, that's a good point. Getting some, like, Pegasus boots or something would be nice as well, eventually. You've removed 191 dangerous foes. Keep up the good work protecting our kingdom. What was the reward? Was it 200? Because then I really should just go do that. Oh, I can't really go here. I mean, I could jump off, I guess. Let's do that. I gotta say, right now, we'll see in like half an hour, but right now I'm kind of leaning towards maybe just playing this game tonight. And we'll do the room elsewhere, or some other time. It's 
So now let's see what this guy needed. You have the silver ingots and a handcrafted steel gear, but I still need... Ah, 20 druid feathers. Damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Well, didn't remember. So I guess we should teleport back, kill some druids and stuff, and uh, those, like, leaf blower dudes. Uh, wait, so where is the, the teleport? I guess there's one here. Get some feathers and then see if we can get a reward for killing enemies. And I guess while we're here, we might as well trade in that soup as well. So did it say anything about what the soup does? No. I guess it would just heal you, probably. So where was the soup trade? Yeah, there we go. Say, I'll trade you a worthless artifact I found the other day for your jar of mushroom soup. Deal? Sweet deal. I should have said no. The old druid handed the young knight a small meta medallion that glowed with power. Oh, she now possessed the ability to perform a powerful ground stomp attack. Oh, that's cool. I was expecting just a shitty, like, heart piece or something. This is not the place you would think. I would think the fairy fountain should have had that, and this should have been a heart piece, but I don't know. No tradebacks. Replenishes energy. Oh, the mushroom soup. I see. But that seems useless. Like, it's so quick. Well, okay, it's not that quick. I guess in, in some combat scenarios, maybe it'll be good to get a quick replenish. Whoa. So that's just AoE damage? That seems good. It can't mow the lawn, though. Can you use it, like, during a, a jump attack or something? Well, you can use it right after. Part of this song almost sounds like Zelda's lullaby as well. Take that. It does not seem to do much damage. I guess the benefit is some AoE, but it's not very strong. Is it the same strength as a, a sword swing? I think so, yeah. Like five sword swings and five of those kill one. So it's not that strong. Oh, I missed this before. Huh? You can throw that far? No. Ah. Hmm. That's as far as I can throw it, and that's not gonna work. Oh, that, that does work, but yeah, I can't do anything else. Yeah, guess this is for something later, when I have other stuff. Oh, well I missed. So yeah, that's like three enemies or something. Yeah, I guess it's pretty decent. One sword stri strike at that range. There we go, one feather. So this is gonna take a while. Yeah, it's very satisfying that you can just like power through anything. There we go. This seems like a decent screen. Like those leaf druids definitely seem like the better ones. The best ones for uh, leaf drops or feather drops rather. Yeah, let's just focus on that. Ignore the, uh, grass. I guess I'll just go between these screens. 
Though this screen is a little annoying with the, uh, the spiders. They don't- I don't think they can drop anything. Doesn't seem like it. I'm also considering maybe going to the Feather Dude, the Fletcher, and just uh, trading it in and then loading the game. Just to, like, see how much you get for trading in 20 feathers. If it's, like, ever worth doing. Was there anything good over here, like, in terms of enemy amounts? Oh, a checkpoint. Well, that, that's useful. Haven't been here. Yes, that's where I'm going. Another one of these holes here. Can't stomp them. Yeah, I'm gonna be very, very uncool at this rate with how much I'm using this spin move It's or jump attack. They are very useful. Yeah, this is going pretty, pretty fast. Six more. Ah, that guy hit me. Whoops. Three more? Ah, didn't do the jump attack quick enough. Just one more. Oh, thanks. Oh my god. Jesus. Spiders probably don't have them because they're too small to carry the griffin feathers. I guess so, but they also don't have anything. They don't drop, like, gold or anything. Yeah, that sounds like Zelda's lullaby right there. Alright, so it just saved. 20 feathers, these would make fine arrows that easily pierce their target. What was that, like 50? Something like that? Not enough. Whoa. No, no, no. I want full screen. Yeah, 50. That's not worth it. Oh, there we go. According to legend, Fairy Clover is only found inside Runestone Temple. The place even the druids are afraid to enter? Oh boy. Careful, Lily. All right, bye. So, I guess we can get a, a sword upgrade at this point. If that's just like, you get more damage, or if there's something special to it. Honestly, it might be closer to teleport to the like, outside of town one. Nah, probably not. What's up? You have all the materials. However, the attachment is for a bow. You know, one of those things that lets you shoot arrows? God damn it. Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Is it like a, a repeater? You have the, the cog, silver, and 
many arrows. You'll get like a fucking chain gun bow. A chain crossbow. Well, so I guess that was too uh too early. Let's just check in with grandma. Go to the northern area of the Golem's Haven. You're looking for the temple, right? Yeah, it's just... That updates every time the, like, story updates, it seems. So, what about the, uh, the shop here? They just sold mushroom sh mu mushroom shoop? I don't think there was anything new. And yeah, here's another one of those holes. There has to be something to them. Oh. Well, we do have other stuff here. Now, that's a very special item. The, the, the amulet will bring you back from death's grasp once. It's very expensive, 500 gold. Nope. I guess I could buy... Well, I, I can't buy that, but like I should keep in mind there's one of these here. I forgot. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, I'm kind of considering maybe... Uh, this would be about a good place to take a bit of a break. Like, I'll get back to the dungeon, and then we'll start with the dungeon after the couple minute break. Because, yeah, I think I've committed. I want to play more of this tonight. Probably won't, like, play it the whole night more than just today, but just to get into it a decent chunk. Yeah, it's pretty nice so far. Does that... that doesn't even heal you. You would think these would heal you up as well. Huh. Because you just have to mow the lawn to get healing. Runestone Temple, yeah. Let's just try and heal up. There we go. And we'll just peek our heads in. There's some cutscene or something, yep. Just ahead was the entrance to Runestone Temple. Oh god, the sounds again. Eight knights were already there, but they couldn't get inside. What are they, dummies? Oh ho ho, sort of. You see, there was a trick to getting the stone door open. This is so loud, like the music and this at the same time. God damn. I thought this game was, was too quiet before. Maybe it's not. Has anyone figured out how to get into the temple yet? Does it look like we're inside already? All the runestones do is make weird sounds when we hit them. Less talking, more swinging. We're figuring this out soon. We'll figure this out soon enough. Oh, Mage of the Black Rose. Aha. No one stands a chance against the disciple, a disciple of Crocus. Destroyed. A puny recruit resists my spell. Uh, even if you made it inside, you wouldn't get far. We will destroy anyone seeking the legendary ingredients. So I guess when I finish this, I, I get the lightning spell, maybe. All hail Wizard Crocus! Oh no. That's like the same start as before. Is it gonna keep going more and more? Oh no. Surely it's not going to be as many times as the secret. Okay, all right. It wasn't as as intense as the secret. This is like what the secret should have been. Man. And I wonder what these gates are for as well. They seem to be something. They've shown up. I mean, maybe they're just aesthetic, but there's, like, gates in weird places sometimes. I don't know if you can do anything with those. So are all these just dead now? Yep. Just corpses. It's fine. And there we go. Lily felt the power of ancient magic emanating from the walls. It was giving life to the long dormant stone creatures inside. And that's it. All right. I'm gonna take a break here and then continue on with uh, Blossom Tales. I forgot the name for a bit. I'll take a couple minutes. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in just a bit.